My airbags are crossing dangerous Itachi like territory again. <laughs> Dun 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 dun! Disclaimer! <laughs> this is not gonna be a tutorial or in any way helpful at all. In fact, this is sort of an anti-tutorial, if you will, on how to not do that comicking thing we both enjoy or you want to know more of, which is why you click this video probably. But yes, doing things the Jiro way is always doing things the wrong way. And I am Jiro, by the way. <laughs> Guten Tag! <laughs> Uh, it is 3 a.m. Oh. Yeah, I show you guys <laughs> how I uh. On a second, I can't think of a better time to show you guys my uh, drying process for my wet comic, my brown and electric yellow. Legal. <laughs> Let's talk my intentions with my brown and electric yellow really quick. I started the webcomic when I was feeling very unsatisfied with my work ethic, always abandoning projects and d deleting them, doing them over, ugh, and with the roots of comicking and doing art in general. So like, uh, use a specific size so you can print it later, make it worthwhile and clean to look at, always mirror your drawings so they don't look silly, do the line art, all the line art, I hate line art, and <laughs> write out a whole plot so you know what you're doing and where you're heading at all times, you know. I'm a very messy person, so this felt like suffocating after a while. Um, I know I sound like a passé because there is a sense to all those things I mentioned, but it wasn't the best time in my life anyway. So I thought I would do a comfy project where I poop and pee on the things I don't like. Just uh, do whatever feels best. <laughs> and that's how uh, Matt Brown and Electric Yellow was created. Dun 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 dun. Let me introduce the comics characters really quick, so maybe you want to get a little rip. The whole comic is just about them meeting and interacting. Um, the genre would be slice of life, romance and drama. Romance specifically being boys love, so if you're not into that, my comic might not be for you. <laughs> this is uh, Nils. He is quite difficult. He's also the guy representing Matt Brown from the title. Um, I would like, I would, I would love for him to be a tsundere, but he's just unpleasant to be around overall. There's no tsundere going on. <laughs> well, kinda ish. Well, <laughs> you have to read to find out. <laughs> Some of you guys commenting think he has like kinder intentions, like really nice, sweet intentions, but no, the child has to do a lot of self-improving still. <laughs> Stick around though, he might get there. Or not. Let's see. Wink wonk. <laughs> this is Sven, who is the person representing Electric Yellow. He's kind and like a warm sun kind of person. So I am obviously doing the opposite attract thingy. I don't want to talk much more about Sven because I want him to remain a bit more mysterious for a while. <laughs> uh, you. Now we are going to talk about my drawing programs and my setup which is nothing too fancy, just a regular. Um, I use some kind of an Acer laptop in combination with some kind of really old LG monitor. <laughs> I'm a supercomputer expert, okay? Um, for drawing, I use the Bamboo Pen and Touch, but Googling around, it seems my generation of that tablet has been discontinued, question mark. But they have uh, new ones of the same model, looking slightly different, but kind of the same, really. Um, I need to get a new one eventually anyway, because it keeps disconnecting every hour with every cable I plug into it. Um, which is a bother, but it's not the tablet's fault. It's quite old, so we had a good run, as both. It's okay. <laughs> uh, for programs, I use a combination of Paint Tools, Sci for drawing, and Photoshop for minor edits and adding text. 
There are programs uh, which are capable of doing both things in one, like Clip Studio Paint, for example. I do have that one, but for some reason we aren't really getting along with each other. A lot of people with really professional looking art use it, however, so you go get your own opinion. Also, it has screen tones, so if you dig that mango look, that might be for you. Though you can do that with Photoshop too. Nah, anyway. Uh, also, I am recommending getting a cloud thing or a Dropbox just to save your webcomics in <laughs> a, a space where they can't easily be destroyed by a faulty laptop. Uh, anyway, that was really dry, wasn't it? I'm sorry. Uh, let's get a blanket, get rid of the stupid hat and get into the feel-good mode. Cool out to stay awake, some cool your music or an audiobook on the side, maybe even the movie. C <laughs> A horror movie would be sweet, no? <laughs> okay, so before we start drawing, we must know what we're even going to draw, right? So, it's scripted time! <laughs> Open up your Word documents, my people. Um, in the beginning, I already said I've got a messy way to go about things, so don't expect too much. Um, in the background, I blowed out my actual Word document with my actual script, so, you know, no spoilers. But here's a breakdown. After deciding on character traits, I first structure the story roughly in bullet points. Bullet. The quick brown fox is going about his life. Bullet. On a sunny day, he meets the lazy dog. Bullet. He follows him around for a whole chapter. Bullet. Then the quick brown fox decides to jump over the lazy doggy. Wow, amazing. Then I go into detail and write the first chapters out in, in an embarrassing five-year-old is learning how to roleplay kind of way, so beware. <laughs> Chapter 1. Quick brown fox jumps over lots of hurdles. Feels proud of himself. I really am the best jumping fox in all of this town. <laughs> Huffs out air in a proud manner. <laughs> I told you guys it's bad. This is why I can't uh, also can't show you the stupid script for my brown and electric yellow. I am so sorry. Can you believe when I was a child I wanted to grow up and be a journalist with that kind of skill and messiness? Go, oh, what were you thinking? <laughs> Have some self awareness. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this way it really does help for me to stay focused and not be distracted. Yeah. Okay, so that writing will continue to uh, chapter 2 and chapter 3, and then I will leave it open for a while. Maybe while drawing I want to change something. Maybe I'm not feeling this particular chapter right now. Not stressing myself. Also, sometimes I think of sentences or little scenarios that fit in the story but are not 100% like do or die main plot. So, yeah. And I uh, just dump them at the end of the Word document because maybe I can use them later. <laughs> Shmaba. A tiny tip on the side. While storyboarding, I like to listen to music that fits the mood of the overall story. I made a Spotify playlist for those moments, like the, the emo the emo mood I need when I do my run and electric uh, scripting. <laughs> Uh, while drawing, however, I need mindless poppy stuff that doesn't drag me down or makes me not uh, lose concentration. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I can't be swayed by the music. Haha. <laughs> so now that we have the script, we can draw. Yes. Well, almost. Sorry. We have to. Oh well, I have to make little storyboard thumbnails first, so I know about uh, poses and like panel arrangement, etc. But they never go further than stigma with weird faces. I'll show you guys the thumbnails for uh, this episode of my brown electric yellow. It's episode seven. Um, I <laughs> my f my chair just made a farting noise. It wasn't me, I swear. <laughs> I'm a big fan of keeping things simple layout wise, like with the panels and also um, t t like a lot of breaks and pauses so you can seize the atmosphere and the moment you can take it in properly. But also, let's be honest, it's way less work <laughs> to not do artsy stuff, like just 
simple but then uh rectangles and stuff <laughs> okay i am going to be drawing now amazing video is almost over and i'm only starting the drawing biz now <laughs> um i will break down my process really quick let's open up paint till side Save the colors you need uh, to use regularly in like a template or the board thingy thang you can see over there. Um, open up the canvas. Bucket to that shit with your preferred uh, background color. Though I usually forget that in the beginning. Just add it whenever you can see. <laughs> then I draw panels. Then I sketch. And then I add some shadows. Um, I tell you it's a messy comic you guys. What were you expecting? Uh, I recorded a couple of my pages, uh, yeah, so look at me go, look at me draw. <laughs> This is the whole thing in normal speed. I am quite slow because I do want you guys to get the drawing and not ask yourself what each stroke means. Oh, oh. <laughs> So this is the last panel of episode 7 and I want to make a joke. I wanted to make it so bad but I couldn't like ruin the mood of the episode so you know how the peeps in this drawing have like uh, no noses right from the front. I don't draw noses and my front is actually yellow. Well from the side I do but anyway. Well in this panel Niels is thinking something about uh, smell and I keep wanting to show but boy with which nose you're smelling that <laughs> but yeah I can't do that so I'm making that joke here ha 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 sorry <laughs> anyway I'll be adding text in Photoshop now so if you're using um, extra stuff like effects on your text like a stroke around the letters or uh, shadowy stuff uh, remember to click on the make default thingy so you don't have to copy it paste text setting or some shit like that. You wouldn't believe how long it took me to figure out it's Jesus. <laughs> also, I am usually preparing some kind of extra section with an illustration by me. So we're gonna open it up. This time it's a height chart, but I actually forgot to upload it with episode 7. So into episode 8 it goes. <laughs> so sorry, it was, I, I don't know, I was all over the place that weekend. Um, Below the extra section, I put the fan art section. Art from people that have enjoyed my comic or artist friends who just wanted to be very sweet and encouraging. I very much appreciate it. <laughs> I very much appreciate it. Amazing. You guys are amazing. Very supportive. Um, also, now all that is left is sizing it to fit the requirements of your webcomic hosting site. And we are done and we can upload. Wow. The comic is on to plastic and line web tunes. Ha ha. Give it a read. Ha, ta, ta, ta. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video of my uh, descent into madness. <laughs> no, but I hope I could at least be a little helpful while just trying to entertain you and me. Um. Here's a video of my cat, just in case you need some cute fluffies. But who does need the cute, the, the cute fluffers? <laughs> I'm totally gonna end the video this way. Boom! Thank you for watching! <laughs>